After a less than successful preseason trip to the Okanagan this weekend, the Victoria Royals were back at the Save on Foods Memorial Center for fitness testing today. The boys getting some off-ice work in today, pushing these players to their limits in the gym with the weights to build up strength and out in the parking lot working on endurance and recovery. It's training that the Royals coaching staff believes will pay dividends as the season wears on. It's a crazy season. It's a long, you know, it's a lot of travel, a lot of fatigue there. So our technology lets us keep on on top of their ability to recover. So we can basically prescribe the right, the right exercises or the rest if that's what's required. As the coaching staff does with their on ice, uh, I'll be doing with the skill the exact same thing we're doing today. We've done with the Canucks and with the Rangers, and uh, across Canada. Now, despite dropping their two exhibition games over the weekend, a 4-2 defeat in Kamloops and 7-2 loss in Kelowna, there's still plenty of time for the Royals to work out the kinks. And with still 31 players vying for just 23 roster spots, it's some of the rookie tryouts who've been drawing the most attention, including Parksville native Cade Pilton. Uh, yeah, I think I, I bring a little bit of uh, size and skill, but uh, first things first, I just try to move the puck out of my own end and uh, just try to be a simple player out there. We're starting to get down to the last numbers of the cuts here, and uh, just glad to be here. They're uh, doing really well. They're obviously having to adjust. It's a little bit faster, some bigger guys, and they're doing really well, I think. Uh, we've got a lot of good young players here, and uh, you know, it's future is really bright for this team. And you know, a lot, of, a lot of these kids can play play the game, so it should be good. Victoria continues their preseason schedule this weekend with back-to-back -back games on the mainland against the Vancouver Giants.